Hello. In this video, we're going to try to model a gasification process using our yield to model the conversion of the feed stream into an elemental composition. So this is the yield we're going to use with a pressure of 5 bar and a temperature of 90, 900 degrees Celsius. So it's going to be the same setup with a feed stream here and the R yield reactor there and a product stream there. Okay, so going to the setup, we'll use a temperature of 900 degrees Celsius and 5 bar pressure and our yield of the elemental composition. So. So just copying the mass fractions there and pasting them there. Okay, and then choosing the components. The first one is carbon. So get carbon. The next one is hydrogen. Next one is nitrogen. Chlorine, so we don't have chlorine, sulfur, silicon. Okay, so we don't have chlorine, sulfur. Let's put in oxygen there. Okay, so we'll just add, we'll quickly add. Chlorine. Sulfur. As well as some of the products SO2 and O2. Ammonia and propane. Okay. And going back to the simulation, we'll add chlorine and sulfur there. Right. So we've specified our yield. Then for gasification, we'll try to use one of the R Gibbs reactors here. There. And then just reconnect that. Connect up there. All right, so if you're wondering why we're using an R Gibbs here, um, it's a different approach to converting conven non conventional to conventional. So in the previous video, we've seen a direct conversion of a non-conventional material to conventional materials just by specifying the yield. For here, I've seen some models using um, this approach, especially for gasification, where it's 
the process is very hot and very um, energetic so what happens is that the biomass is broken down into smaller molecules and then they just combine um, and they just combined following the and they just combined forming products that form from thermodynamically expedient reactions and using the R Gibbs reactor, it will prioritize reactions with ha which has um, favorable gives free energy values of reaction. So that's what it does. All right. So now to specify the R Gibbs, so we want the reactor to calculate both phase equilibrium and chemical equilibrium and we'll specify a pressure of 5 bar and a temperature of 900 okay. so we don't have to specify any products so the one option is R Gibbs considers all components as products so whatever you enter in your um, specification components might turn up as products depending on the gives free energy of formation of these products or you can actually identify possible products if you know which ones um, will be generated in your process you can specify those if there is any desired um, products you want you can also specify that and it's um, just going to say that it's going to produce these products and this is the amount of heat needed to produce it. So we'll enter the component products here. Just by copying that. Pasting. Okay, and we'll just fill in the gaps. So after H two is HCl. Different spelling, for different case. After carbon is silicon. Psi. After silicon is chlorine. And then sulfur. So two and no two, NH three, and let's add propane. All right, that's done. So we can run it. Okay, so we have warnings. Okay, so if you look at the R yield stream results, All right, so again, we're going to see the mass flows from so biomass at 5,247 kilograms an hour from the feed in the product, it becomes zero and it breaks down to elemental components N2, O2, H2, C, silicon, chlorine, sulfur. Yep. And then now going to the R Gibbs stream results. Okay. So 
So we see N2, O2 there on the feed stream, hydrogen, carbon, silicon, chlorine. And then on the product stream, we see um, N2 didn't react, but O2 was consumed. So we have very little O2. So going from 1,867 kilograms an hour, it's now nearly nil here. A little bit of H2O formed, CO formed. HCl, methane, ethane, and lots of propane there. So that's it for gasification and our Gibbs. Thank you.